Hey guys, Kiko here. So I did some videos talking about how to be more melodic, how to use triads, open triads to create melodies. So let's talk about triads again, but let me add some harmony concepts that might help you and uh, simple and basic harmony concepts that I'm sure you can apply right away. Let's get B minor. I like B minor. <laughs> Triad, B minor triad. So every time you have a chord, you can always add a dominant to that chord. So a dominant, uh, it's easy to find. Just if you know how to play a, a power chord. Right? So the dominant chord is the fifth of the tonic. So. F sharp in this case. F sharp major or F sharp seventh. Right? So that creates a tension that resolves on B minor. Okay, that's the concept. Now you just try to create some melodies, some lines to understand and to to get familiar to that sound. Right? Only try it. Okay, so dominant, tonic. Now another concept, very simple concept, is the relative. So if you have a major chord, you're going to have a minor, a relative minor. If you have a minor chord, you're going to have a relative major. So, one is the tonic, three, the third, you have the relative major, and then the fifth, the dominant. So we have three chords, one, three, five. What about if we add the fourth, one, three, four, five? So we're going to have... Right? One, relative, the fourth, the fifth. Very common cadence. So now, the E can be major and can be minor. Right? So you have to decide if you want to be happier using the major fourth or if you want to go minor, it's going to be, you know, uh, more melancholic. So check it out. So B minor. Uh, so, so the E major gives you this happy feeling. is happy it sounds like a you know kind of Santana kind of vibe so the E minor would give you um, a melancholic feeling so it's very important to understand and to feel the differences so you can really, when you're composing or creating a solo, you, you know where to go. You, you can express yourself. Now we have, I'm going to use the E minor, right? So more melancholic. So B minor, D as a relative, the fourth, the minor fourth, and then the dominant. Only their pages, and uh, here we go. So four chords. Now, remembering the beginning of this video, I said every chord you can add a dominant, right? So we can apply this rule to all of the four chords. So here we go. We we're doing the the dominant of the B minor. So it's uh, F sharp. <laughs> sharp major resolving B minor now the relative we can 
play the dominant for this chord now, which is, you see, power chord, the fifth is here, it's A, so A major, resolving on D major. Then the E minor, the power chord here, it's a B, so B major, resolving in uh, E minor. And then, finally, the F sharp, you have the fifth, C sharp major, right? So C sharp major, resolving on F sharp major. So now you have right? So four chords, every chord has a dominant. Now you're expanding uh, the harmony of your idea of your song. Right, so B minor, dominant to the relative. Relative major, dominant to the fourth, E minor, fourth, and then dominant to the dominant. Very simple harmony concepts, but if you know how to apply them in your songs, in your solos, you have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of work to develop. Yeah, so leave your comments. Let me know what you want to learn. If you want to know more about Harmony, and um, I'm here to, to help you. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video.